Being a parent can be a nerve-wracking experience, especially if you are worried that you will not do everything right. But you are only human and you will make parenting mistakes. Remind yourself that you are not alone. Every parent makes mistakes. You can avoid some common parenting mistakes if you know what to look for. By learning to overcome these common parenting mistakes, you will be one step closer to becoming a more effective parent. Here are some parenting mistakes to watch out for. Number one, neglecting to fix problems. Either because the parents think that certain problems can be fixed or they simply are quick to accept them. Many parents endure months of or years of frustration. These com common mistakes include bedtime battles, frequent night waking, or temper tantrum and behavior problems in older children. Although it may take ha some hard work, most problems that you face as a parent can be worked through and changed or fixed. You may need some help though. Remember, your baby did not come with uh, instructions on how to uh, handle them, but you can get some help through reading books, asking questions, asking some experts, asking people that have gone, done it before, and working th things out through uh, yourself and your spouse. The next one, overestimating or underestimating problems. Before you try to fix problems, you have to first decide what is and what isn't a problem. Because some of the things we worry about or we take as problems are not actually problems. Unfortunately, parents who overestimate uh, problems or issues are creating problems for their children because they are, the children are confused and they are worried. What are we going to do next? What do I do now for my parents not to be so worried with me? So don't overestimate things and don't order, underestimate things with your children. It gets them confused. The next one, having unrealistic expectations. If you have unrealistic expectations of what your child or children should be doing, you can actually create problems. This often happens when parents get frustrated or impatient with a two or two year old who still isn't interested in potty training or a six year old who is still bedwetting or a moody uh, teenager. Make sure that your expectations match your child's development level. Don't start asking other parents, oh, it's your child. Who is my child's uh, age mate? Is he doing this now? Or, and the parents will say, oh yeah, my parent, my children, or oh, my child is doing this. Is they doing that when he was even, uh, when she was even six months. And other parents will now feel that they are not doing, uh, or that their children or their child is not doing well. No, every child is dip different. So don't just do what is right for you and your child and stop comparing them with all your friends and children who are at similar age. The next one is being, being inconsistent. Few things can harm your children more than an inconsistent parenting style. If you are sometimes very strict, uh, very strict but give in, other, in, uh, give in at other times or simply don't seem to care what your children are doing, they will have a very hard time knowing what is expected of them and how to act. When parents are inconsistent with their parenting or discipline, it creates miscommunication and mixed signals. Children will not take their parents' authority seriously if parents do not follow through. This may lead to lack of respect. So, be consistent. The next one, avoiding rules or limits. You may think that you are doing your children um, favor by letting them do whatever they want but most children especially younger ones find it hard to live without guidelines having rules setting limits following consistent routines and offering limited choices will help your child know and expect what is coming through uh, what is coming throughout the day when parents do not have rules or set limits the ri the risk includes negative behavior Temper tantrum, hostility, 
Def uh, defiance and attention seeking behaviors. So let us let us watch out for this. The next one is neglecting to change what doesn't work. Not recognizing or changing parental um, techniques that are not working is almost as a big as a big problem as not trying to fix problems in the first place. For example, you may think that time out is an effective form of discipline, but if you have to use it each day to correct the same problem or behavior, then it is no longer effective. Just like when we are growing up, every little thing you do, your parents will bring out the cane to flog you. Sometimes you become resistant to that uh, um, cane or that stick. You are like, oh, what would they do apart from flogging me? So that's not good. Next one is failing to lead by example. Children look to model in their environment to learn what is acceptable and what isn't. Because children are exposed to their parents the most, leading by example is very important. Being a good role model also allows kids to learn positive behaviors. For instance, it is beneficial for kids or for children to see healthy communications and conflict resolution skills in action with their parents. The next one, fighting your child's battles. While there are some situations where parents should step in to help their children navigate conflict, always fighting a child's battles keeps them from learning how to interact with others. With young children, parents should model how to handle conflict and assert themselves. But as kids get older, parents should gradually encourage children to take on more conflict resolution. When parents fight their children's battles, it teaches them that they do not have a voice. Children should be encouraged to be direct and assertive in a positive way. This helps them to create their own healthy boundaries with others. Failing to listen to your child. That's the next one. Failing to listen to your child. When listening to your child, you are validating their thoughts and feelings. Listening also shows your child that they are important to you and helps to build a stronger connection between you. Listening attentively to your child helps them to develop a healthy self-concept as well as showing them that listening to others is important. When parents do not listen, children may feel dismissed and have self-esteem issues. Children may grow up feeling they never live up to anyone's approval and live in constant state of feeling like a disappointment. I'll conclude by saying that most parents enter their parenting journey with the goal of being the best parents they can be. But despite how hard they try, they are going to stumble along the way. The key is to recognize that parents, parenting is a constantly evolving journey that requires adaptation. By recognizing common parenting mistakes and trying to address them before they become an issue, you can ensure that you, be, you, that you are becoming the most effective parent you can be. The first step is often to open, be open and flexible enough to recognize when you need to take a different direction. It is not one size fits all. If you are doing something and it's not working, you try and change it. I'm sure you have benefited from a few things from these uh, common parent, uh, some of the co common parenting mistakes. Thank you so much for listening. listening. Please share this with other parents so that they can see uh, what we have discussed today. I'll see you again in my next one. Goodbye and God bless. Mm -hmm.